couple of things I want to say is that I'm I'm uh, been PI of the uh, Azaliragon program. This is the Rage compound. I'm very excited about that. They are uh, finished their phase three recruitment and enrollment, uh, and they will report out their data in two, late 2018. This could be a brand new mechanism of action that's kind of been a sleeper in the field, uh, but I want to put that out because I think it's a very exciting mechanism of action. Uh, the other thing I've been working on is working with the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, um, who uh, developed a very quick way to detect amyloid in saliva. We just started, we just reported our first uh, poster here. Um, people got interested because they're like, we didn't know you could detect amyloid in saliva. It's too early to it's too early and too speculative to say how what's going to come of that. But we're we now have grant money to see that through and see if it could be a, a screening tool, much like the uh, blood tests that are in development. I have to say to you that one thing that I'm very excited about seeing is a lot of companies now working on blood tests as peripheral diagnostics. Maybe not as a uh, decisive diagnostic, but maybe as a screening tool to rule out negative uh, patients. Uh, and I know at least two companies are working on that.